Tess. And I'm Ravi. We're the presenters. Now, last week, I told you that Tess loved riding her mountain bike, and you've been away riding your bike this week, haven't you? I have, yes. Where did you go? We went to the Lake District in the northwest. Oh, beautiful. For our listeners who don't know, the Lake District is in the northwest of England, and it's a really beautiful part of the country. I went there last year, you know. It's a difficult place to ride a bike, though. Lots of hills. I like riding up hills. I prefer riding down them. <laughs> Did you stay in hotels? No, we were camping. We took two small tents with us, and at the end of every day, we just put the tents up on a campsite. It was great, really relaxing. What was the weather like? Camping's great when the weather's okay, but when it's raining, it's horrible. Yeah, we were really lucky. It was really sunny. Well, it rained one day, but that was okay. Sounds great. I need a holiday. But, well, I think I prefer to spend my holidays on the beach. It sounds like a lot of hard work, Tess. I love it. I'm going again next year. I can't wait. But it's time to move on to the rest of the show. I know we've got lots of interesting people to hear from. So, let's start with our I'd Like to Meet section. In this part of the show, we ask people a simple question. Which famous person, dead or alive, would you like to meet? And of course, we ask them to explain why. Our guest today on I'd Like to Meet is Yasmin from Cardiff. Hello, Yasmin, and welcome to the show. Hello. It's nice to be here. Hello, Yasmin. Can you tell us something about yourself? Well, um, my name's Yasmin. I'm 18 years old. I live in Cardiff, that's in Wales, mm. and I'm training to be a beauty therapist. Mm, a beauty therapist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a good job. Now I'm going to ask the question. So, Yasmin, which famous person, dead or alive, would you like to meet? Oh, I'd like to meet Shakira. Shakira? This will be interesting. <laughs> uh, can you tell us something about her? Sure. She's a singer and a dancer too. Uh, she's from Colombia and she sings in Spanish and English. And why did you choose Shakira to talk about today? Mm, for quite a lot of reasons. First, I think she's a fantastic singer. Mm. I just fell in love with her voice the first time I heard her sing. It's so different. And then she writes her own songs. She wrote her first song when she was only eight, I think. <laughs> I love singing and I write my own songs too, so I understand how difficult it is. And I'd love to sit down with her and write a song together. I'm sure she could teach me a lot. <laughs> Can you play any musical instruments? The guitar and the piano. In the beginning, she wrote songs and sang in Spanish, and she was very famous in Latin America. But she didn't speak English, so she had to learn it. And I think she learned it really well. Mm. I admire her because she didn't just translate her old songs from Spanish to English. She wrote new ones in English. It isn't easy to write songs in a foreign language, but her words are great, I think. She still sings in Spanish, too. She records two versions of her songs, one in English and one in Spanish. Another reason I like her is because she's a mixture of different cultures, and that makes her music interesting. Her mother is from Colombia, but her father is Lebanese, so there's a lot of Arabic influence in her music. And not only Arabic, there's Indian, Brazilian, Iranian. She's interested in all sorts of music. And I think she's a nice person, too. Her videos are very, well, you know, sexy, <laughs> but I don't think she's really like that. She's got four dogs, and she likes working in her garden. And she doesn't drink alcohol, and she doesn't smoke. Thanks, Yasmin. Uh, one more question. What would you like to talk to Shakira about if you could meet her? Oh, lots of things. Like I said before, I'd like to ask her about how she writes her songs. And I'd like her to teach me how to dance. She's an incredible dancer. She certainly is. 
Thanks, Yasmin. That was great. I think I'd really like to meet Shakira too. <laughs> hmm, I'm sure you would, Ravi. Have you ever met anyone famous? No, I don't think so. Only you, Tess. Oh. <laughs> OK, now it's time for Our Person In. This is the part of the show where we hear from people in different countries around the world. This week, we're going to listen to Rachel Glover. Rachel is our woman in Argentina. I came to live in Buenos Aires, the capital city of Argentina, in 1998. On my first night in this beautiful city, I went for a walk in the streets near my new flat. In a small square, close to my home, I heard music. I went to have a look, and for the first time, I saw people dancing the tango. The tango is a dance that Argentina gave to the world, but no one knows exactly when or where people first danced the tango, or even where the word tango comes from. At the start of the 20th century, the population of Buenos Aires got much bigger as people arrived from all over the world to start a new life in South America. More than a million people came from Africa and from Europe, Spain, Italy, France, Russia, Poland. The tango began around this time. For me, the dance shows both the sadness of these people who had said goodbye to their homes and also the hope of a new start in Argentina. An Argentinian friend told me that you have to learn the tango if you want to understand Argentina. I decided to learn this beautiful dance. I went to a tango school in the centre of Buenos Aires and joined a class. I was very surprised to find that my teacher was not Argentinian, but Scottish. Her name was Claire Flanagan. She came to Buenos Aires 15 years ago because of her love for tango. I fell in love with the tango, and now I've fallen in love with Buenos Aires, she says. Great. Can you dance the tango, Tess? <laughs> no, I can't. I'd love to learn. We can learn together. <laughs> 